Yo, what's poppin' gamers? Welcome back to a brand new Bad Business video. And you guys been asking for this for a while and have been waiting patiently, but we're finally doing the UMP45 class setup. I am gonna be trying something new when it comes to the editing style for the class setup videos. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys enjoy this much more. I feel like it'd be much more entertaining because you guys are gonna be watching more gameplay instead of staring at the menu screen like you guys are right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cue that gameplay for you guys right now. And another thing that I'm going to be doing in every single setup video is giving you guys my personal favorite setup, what I use on a daily basis. And then I'm also going to give you guys two, one or two more setups to fit other play styles that would be another thing I would use, but it's not my main setup. I'm going to try to be very helpful to all of you guys for all play styles. With that being said, our like goal for today is 777. So if you guys do enjoy this video and if I was helpful in any way, I would appreciate a like down below because I do put a lot of effort into these videos. And one last thing before we hop into these setups. If you guys would like to be in a video like these guys, all you have to do is subscribe if you guys aren't already. Turn on the bell notification right next to the subscribe button to get notified every single time I do upload. And then you can comment down below, hashtag Noti Gang, and answer this question. What is your favorite submachine gun and bad business currently? If you guys do all that, you guys have a chance to be popped up in the next video. Anyways, let's hop straight into this setup. All right, so starting off with my personal favorite setup that I rock on a daily basis for the UMP. We're going to be starting with the optic. And yes, I'm putting an optic on my submachine gun. I know I usually don't do that, but for the UMP, I like to do it so I don't have to waste another attachment on a muzzle or well, a flash hider uh, because you kind of need that if you're going to run iron sights. But we're going to be using the coyote sight. Your optic of choice is your personal preference. And if you don't want to use one, don't use one. I know this next thing is going to be a little weird, but trust me. All right, hear me out. We are not going to be adding a laser and we're not going to be adding a muzzle, but we will be adding the extended barrel to the weapon. This will increase your damage range, increase your recoil control, but it will decrease your ADS speed, which is aim down sight, if you guys didn't know, and decrease your movement speed, which is okay. We will not be adding any ammo type, and trust me, the other setups that I have for alternative setups will have ammo types. Don't worry. For the under barrel, we're going to be throwing on the vertical grip to one, help us for hip fire accuracy. That will make up for us not having a laser and it'll also decrease or reduce our vertical recoil. On top of that, it will decrease our handling speed, but that's okay. Next up is the civvy stock. And that is the setup that I'm currently running on my UMP. And the reason for this is because it is an absolute beam, even from range. I originally always ran the nine mil conversion, but you do lose quite a bit of damage range, which honestly, it's a good trade off with the rate of fire increase, but I'm running this setup only currently. I love for you guys to try out this setup and let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. And to be fair, a lot of the attachments you can unlock between level 30 on this weapon. You don't have to go all the way to max for it. So that is my setup and that's what I like to use currently and all the gameplay that you guys just watched in the background was with my setup. But now I want to switch gameplay over to the next setup I'm going to be showing you guys. So hopping straight into our second loadout, this is going to be more of a fast paced style of a loadout. So starting off, we are not going to be adding an optic this time around, but we will be adding a muzzle. We're going to go ahead and throw on the muzzle brake to decrease our vertical recoil. We're going to go ahead and add the extended barrel. For our ammo type, we're going to throw on the 9mm conversion. Keep in mind, this will decrease your damage range, so you kind of want to use it more as a fast paced SMG. For our under barrel, we're once again begin throwing on the vertical grip to help with uh, not having a laser on. We're gonna be throwing on the folded stock. This is my fast paced uh, run and gun UMP setup as where my other one is a run and gun, but also can beam people from across map if I really wanted to. But this one's more focused around fast paced and just full Wing everybody. All the gameplay that you guys just watched in the background was with this current setup. The results you're gonna be getting from this setup You'll be dropping your damage range down by quite a bit, which is okay because it's supposed to be fast paced. Your fire rate is going to be increasing from 720 to 750, which is quite a big jump and it helps with not having that damage range anymore. Your magazine size is still staying at 30. Your handling is coming from 100 down to 95, but your mobility is going to be staying at exactly 100. That is going to do it for our second setup. Now moving on to the third and last setup. So we're going to be switching over the gameplay to the new setup all right boys it's time to become a chunky boy for this setup we're gonna be rocking a coyote sight we're not gonna be putting on a laser or a muzzle we're gonna be throwing on the extended barrel our ammo is now a 50 round drum our under barrel is still gonna be our vertical grip and for our stock attachment we're gonna be throwing on the civvy stock now keep in mind this setup is more for long range you're turning your ump no longer into a smg technically because you're dropping your mobility all the way down to 87 
which is more along the lines of assault rifles and LMGs, which is not ideal. But the end result for this is better recoil control, much more damage range. And on top of that, you're gonna keep your 720 rate of fire. You're gonna increase our magazine size from 30 to 50. You're gonna be decreasing your handling from 100 down to 89. And you're gonna be decreasing your mobility from 100 down to 87. Like I said, you're gonna be a chunky boy. You're gonna be slow. But this setup is actually a ton of fun to use. Uh, and it's very versatile. It's still very, 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 very good up close, uh, like it should be. But it's not really made to be like that 24 7 even though i may make it look like that in the gameplay that is going to do it for all the types of play styles you can kind of have with this weapon i do really recommend every single one of these setups and hopefully i could display some decent gameplay for you guys in the background with each of them as well i love for you guys to comment down below letting me know if you would like to see more best class setups edited in this way i really feel like this is more of a unique style that nobody's doing on bad business right now so make sure you guys do comment down below tell me if you guys enjoy this much more than the other setup styles i've done in the past you can also comment down below letting me know what you would change on any of these setups I gave you guys. Or you can even comment letting me know your personal favorite setup on the ump. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow's upload. Peace out.